When I go to church, I'm told that we were placed here by God. I mean, I know that people are, the human race is changing, and that, that I know is fact. But a whole new race coming from one other one, I don't see how that could be possible if those two separate races are still here. This week in science class, 13-year-old Tori Qualia will learn about biological evolution. Let's get focused, ladies and gentlemen. Journal's up there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Qualia. Qualia is an interesting one. In her head, you can see that she's constantly re-evaluating. And keep going with that thought. Catherine Bilsma is her eighth grade science teacher. This is a very large uh, suburban community north of Tampa. 28 eighth grade students, gifted, all qualified, 138 plus IQ, and as varied as you could ever ask for. The teaching of evolution, the idea that life in all its forms has evolved over billions of years through mutation and natural selection, has been a continual flashpoint between its proponents and those who see it as a threat to religious faith. This fall, Florida will require its public schools to teach evolution. And in response to court rulings and low test scores, several other states have mandated new standards with a greater emphasis on evolution. It's important for us as, as a, a culture of Florida to meet the needs of our students, to help them be competitive in a more global economy. I don't understand how that could happen, but they have theories that prove that it could have happened. It's irrefutable that we share mo much of our DNA with primates. We are not apes and we did not evolve from apes. Teaching evolution in an ideologically divided classroom will be a new challenge for many teachers. And while the subject is now mandated, there are no guidelines for how to teach it. The other half is Earth was. Class begins with a brainstorming session. Okay, Earth was not here at one point. About half the class, we believe that the human race evolved from apes. Neanderthals and uh, Homo sapiens. The other half of the class believes that the human race was placed on the earth by God. I don't think any students should feel like what we teach in the classroom should conflict with their family's belief system. You don't necessarily have to believe because this is not a belief system. This is data driven. And in the scientific community, this is the data we have. Each side gets a chance to ask a question. <laughs> Doman, do you have a question? Yes. Yeah. How do you make the Adam and Eve theory scientific? It's that. a theory, isn't it? Now at my church, it's usually how that sentence starts. They bring that feeling, that whole emotionality to class, and we have to diffuse it. Yeah. There are relics. Buried within the contents of this site. Ms. Bilsma's strategy is less lecturing and more investigating so that kids can draw their own conclusions through hands-on research, like digging fossils. I think that the perception is that we teach it as a law, as a fact, and there's no data that says there, there was, is the fact of evolution. The statement of theory, I think, is a misnomer. This is, this is a very substantiated theory. We know that change has happened, and the evidence tells us that there is an interrelatedness. How do you know their bones? I found a spinal cord and connected it to something. But I have to let them discover how those connections were made there. Ms. Bilsma, can we borrow some tape? Theoretically, it, uh, it kind of went over my head a tiny bit. In some homes, evolution may be a new topic for students and parents alike. She cut it in half for us, and we had to write, Earth is, and then a bunch of stuff about Earth, and then Earth was. And you know, I was never taught the theory of evolution when I was growing up. I do believe that children have to be um, cognizant of the, the theory itself. If, if someone says, this is fact, this is how you are created, and it went against and it went against our beliefs, I would have a problem with that. One of those things that she used to have our experiments in? I think if Tori came back and, and learned something from class, I would hope that it would at least spark a discussion. Or we could look it up together. Let, let's go deeper into this and, and see what makes sense to us. Isn't evolution just a theory? Charles Darwin inferred from the evidence available to him 
that all living creatures, including humans, descended from a common ancestor. Evolution also helps us make sense of the natural world in which we live. Don't say a word. Write your thoughts on that paper. After she sends her students to lunch, Ms. Bilsma reads their reactions. He says, I think that some theories make sense while others don't. I think that gravity exists, but I don't think that everyone evolved from monkeys. It's science. All of science is a, th is a theory, he says. Evolution depends on everyone's own point of view. I was brought up on one thing, and it's not going to change because of science. She's quite adamant in her belief system. I believe this video was a form of visual propaganda. Wow. Ooh, and this is what is the basis for scientific knowledge. I basically have to allow them to do some discovery. Let's recreate this. You have to literally think out loud and model for them the, the type of process you really want them to go through. What does it remind you of? Uh, Red spinal cord. Of? A human. A human, yeah. And then let them help me. When they see themselves in a helper, teacher type role, you've empowered them. Based on what you just told me, I have something in common with what Tyndall has in his hand. Yeah. I really had no idea about any of this. 28 you heard yourself. But I'm learning and I'm getting it, so it's becoming an interesting topic to learn. Oh, almost. One thing that Einstein said is, um, Science without religion is boring. Religion out without science is blind. And that is an excellent example of how I believe. They're almost identical. Because no, there's, there's a third one, too. Tomorrow, the class will move on from the fossils. I don't know. But for Tori Qualia, there is more to discover. It made me want to go in and research it more. In the classroom and then out of the classroom. You know, like scientists and researching their work and in the field and everything so that's what I would probably end up doing. Could do that. What else? The other Talk to others. Aha! They're, they're very independent in that do I believe this? Do I not? What is it about it I don't quite buy? What are you going to find out? <laughs> and I appreciate that.